how's it going, everybody? It's Eong here, and welcome to a Death Stranding news update. The following information comes from Twitter, through which fans posted images of a new piece of artwork from Yoji Shinkawa for what looks to be some kind of new character. For those who missed it, yesterday Kojima showed off Luden's action figures at the San Diego Bait Store as part of Comic-Con 2016. But it wasn't just Luden's that was on display. Kojima also showed off this strange action figure of a mysterious new character. Following the reveal of these action figures, Yoji Shinkawa, lead artist on all things Kojima, including the upcoming Death Stranding, hosted a signing session for his fans. That's where he gave out these posters, showcasing a brand new artwork of the new character. Now, last time, we saw the naked form of the character as an action figure, but in this artwork, we are shown what looks to be an armored version of the mysterious new character. And much like Luden's, this armor was clearly designed to be futuristic in nature, while borrowing design elements from armors of older eras. So there's clearly some kind of connection between the two. And it's not just the armored version that seems to suggest some kind of connection. As I discussed in my previous video based on the action figure. The naked version also shares many similar features to Luden's Eva suit, including similar recessions on their armor, the same rivets scattered all throughout, and the same circular discs jutting out of the various parts of the body. They both even share a skull-like mask, although only Luden's accurately resembles the skull of a homo sapien. Now despite their similarities, you can also tell that the mystery character's armor has distinguishing features that differentiate it from Luden's, whereas Luden's body armor has a very Spartan design to it, as noted by the cuirass that's carved out in the shape of a man's upper body. And whereas Luden's helmet combines designs of Spartan helmets and French closed helmets, the mystery character's body armor seems to borrow from more typical, simpler medieval knight armor designs, especially with these large pauldrons on the sides. But what's interesting is the helmet. I'm not an expert on helmets, so if I'm wrong about this, feel free to correct me. But after doing some research, I actually couldn't find anything from the Middle Ages that looked like this. What I did find was something called the German Spiked Helmet more commonly known as the Pickelhob that originated in 1842 from the German Kingdom of Prussia. And these helmets were often used by the Prussian military and police. And if we compare them side by side, these two helmets definitely share significant resemblances if you ask me, especially with how both feature some kind of insignia on the front. Obviously, based on the fact that it originated in 1842, the German spiked helmet goes beyond the Middle Ages and into the early modern era. So assuming that I'm on the right track, it could be that Kojima won't just be borrowing design cues from ages ago, but maybe also things that are a bit more recent, but still old enough that they would still be unrecognizable by most of today's population. And hell, maybe this is further indication that evolution will be a big theme in Death Stranding. Kojima's already talked about the rope and the stick and how those were mankind's first inventions. So that goes back to the early days of mankind. And then we have seen motifs of Iron Age and Middle Age stuff like Luden's armor and helmet. And now we're getting stuff from the 1800s. It feels like there's this progression from the rope and the stick to the Middle Ages and now to the 1800s. And I wonder if this is all connected somehow if we will see motifs of various eras to sort of represent evolution. I don't know, just throwing stuff out there. But anyway, to sum things up, there are enough distinguishing features between Ludens and this strange being to assume that they are separate characters, but it's also clear that they were designed with the same idea of combining futuristic elements with design cues from armors of older eras. So the new character must still be somehow related to Ludens and whatever purpose he serves in the grand scheme of things. As for how they're related, well, that's just the question, isn't it? The common assumption right now is that despite Kojima claiming otherwise, Ludens is Norman Reedus' character in a space suit, and if that is indeed the case, then perhaps this mystery character is one of the enemies that Ludens will be fighting in Death Stranding. It certainly doesn't look friendly, especially when you consider that it's wearing military-style pouches on his chest, which perhaps suggests that the character is some kind of armed soldier or combatant. One last thing I would like to point out before ending this video is the faint sketch of the naked version of the new character on the right here, the one which was shown as a prototype action figure in San Diego. It has come to my attention that there are some people who are under the notion that this might not be a new character at all, but rather a base that's underneath the Ludens action figure. So something upon which the action figure makers 
add the rest of the pieces to to complete it. The reason some people think this is because in Kojima's recent tweets, he stated that this is a 1 6th size original body base, and this was posted shortly after this tweet about the 1 6th size Ludens action figure. As a result, some were confused as to whether we are looking at an action figure of a separate new character or if this was just the exoskeleton upon which the 1 6th scale Ludens action figure was built upon. While Kojima has yet to confirm or deny anything, Thing. If you ask me, the design of this action figure is far too intricate and detailed to be just an action figure base. I think Kojima and Shinkawa were very deliberate about designing this character, both with armor and without, and this is further proven by the fact that Yoji Shinkawa sketched them at all. Why would Yoji Shinkawa create concept arts of something as insignificant as an action figure exoskeleton? That doesn't make any sense. If Yoji Shinkawa sketched it out, that pretty much guarantees that this is accurate representation of something important, with my assumption being that this is a character or an enemy for Death Stranding. Hell, even bigger proof lies in the fact that Yoji Shinkawa sketched out an armored version of the character that borrows many design cues from Ludens but still looks quite different. The armor is different from Ludens, the helmet is different, even the mask is different, even if they have similar motifs. If that doesn't scream new character, I don't know what does. So my overall point is Shinkawa fleshed this design enough through the action figure and through sketches to indicate that it will definitely serve an important purpose, likely as a character, and there are enough differences from Ludens to indicate that this is a completely new character, but they also share enough resemblances to indicate that Ludens and this new character are somehow related. So there you have it folks, new artwork of what I'm confident is a new character that Kojima's teasing. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts and theories about the mysterious new character, his action figure, and his new artworks by Yoji Shinkawa. And to be further updated on Death Stranding news, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.